radio back there. We've got depth cameras going on. So what they're doing is not actually cap um, not capturing you know two dimensional images like a regular camera, but actually getting people's volume, their form. <laughs> so we've got a surprise guest in one room. They're being volumetrically captured in real time, and then we let two users each walk into their own volumetric capture station. So they're each getting captured in real time as well. We're sending all of that data over 5G. We're using edge computing to stitch it all back together and create a 3D hologram and then they are seeing it in augmented reality. So basically we've got three holograms that are all interacting in real time augmented reality over 5G right now. at and has announced that we are launching 5G in 12 cities this year. So we've announced six of them publicly, Atlanta, Dallas, Waco, Oklahoma City, Raleigh, and Charlotte. And we'll announce six more this year. And then next year we'll keep unrolling. So, you know, we're, we're really playing with a network that is being built in real time. The truth is LTE is pretty fast. For what most people need in their day-to-day -day life, LTE is pretty fast. But there's places where we need additional capacity and then there's also places where, um, you know, it makes sense to have, you know, these really, really hyper fast speeds. So when you start thinking about smart cities, telemedicine, you know, being able to treat people via hologram one day. Oh my God, I love every technology that bridges like the gap and makes the, like, the globe as if it's not, you know, the other side of the world.